What's up YouTube? Eddie Barrios from the Bronx. Um, today I want to talk about um, the colors. A lot of people online are suggesting that Madam CJ Walker and Annie Malone were the same complexion, which is not true. They're saying that because of pictures that they see online, they don't understand. I'm having a nice little discussion with Emancipation M. She's coming at me, basically telling me that I, she, but first she said, I'm gonna read one of her posts. It's very funny, it's very interesting. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta hear this woman. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the ignorance that uh, some of these people actually have. You gotta, you gotta check this out. It's really, really good. Super ignorant shit. They always start off intelligent, and then when you, when they can't get at you, the, the, the ghetto shoots right out of their ass, and they get ignorant and racist. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you what she says to me. She's, well, she says, uh, Rashida Strober, truth is the real Annie wasn't even that light or nor biracial, and the real Madam C.J. Walker wasn't di dark skin either. They just did it because they needed drama in the film. That's not true. I will show that in a few minutes. So, starts here. She started really nice and intelligent in the beginning. He tells me, Eddie Barrios, I understand that some of you so desperately need to feel there is a light skin, dark skin issue, and you particularly hate LSW, whatever that is, that you just see what you want. But I can see Annie Malone and Madam Walker are very close in complexion with your eyes, and neither one of them has a dark tone. As for the rest of your comment, I don't believe that either. Annie Malone has pictures of her staff, which was numerous and all black. Madam rolled with super light skinned women using the product as well. Both women relatives are light. Okay. I'm not sure why Eddie is trying to get into our affairs anyway. He needs to focus on his own country's racial problem. My own country? I have a Puerto Rican mom and a black dad, and I was born in Brooklyn, so New York. Right? This is my country, down. Mrs. Where Emancipation M. Emancipation M. So she goes from intelligence, and then she goes to ignorant. Are you a killer? There's no need to meddle. I'm noticing a lot of Hispanics are stirring the pot in our affairs so they can get a boost. I, that one I didn't get. I don't know what boost I'm getting from, you know, talking about this. I am black and Hispanic. I don't have the right because I have some, his, because I have a little bit of his, because I have the name Hispanic. I don't have the right. So, so she just, just a bunch of stupid things. And then she tells me I should run and kiss Chrissy's, sniff Chrissy's ass. She needs more mixed lackeys. She says light women never chase and never need validation. Even Latin, Latin women are running to chocolate men. So, yeah, I don't, I don't get, you know. And I told her, I'm not with that bullshit. I'm not with colorist bullshit. Where I come from, blacks chase blacks. Black women chase black men. Black men chase black women. Black men chase Latino women. Latino women chase black men. Asian women chase black men, black men chase Asian women, black and white, whatever. So she's obviously hung up on colorist bullshit like her girl Rashida is when she should be denouncing that bullshit. So she said I needed validation from black people. And I told her I have a whole generation of black family by my side. I already have validation from my own black family and I have validation from my Puerto Rican family. So I don't know what the hell she's talking about. Basically, she's making herself sound super ignorant and a little bit racist against people that are mixed race. Sounds like somebody we both know, huh? So, 
This is basically from Emancipation M. I want to show you something. I want to show you the picture that Rashida Strober has posted of Madam C.J. Walker. So everybody is basically looking at that picture. Even in that picture, she's very, very brown. But what people don't understand, that's an enhanced picture of Madam C.J. Walker. Back then, they didn't have color photos. They were black and white. They put on makeup and they, they use high light in most pictures. In some pictures, they didn't use the light. So these people see this picture and they say, oh, she's not dark. But let me show you something. Let me show you something. That's another picture of Madam C.J. Walker. There, she almost looks white. Now let me show you a real picture of Madam C.J. Walker when she was young, an original picture with no enhanced lighting and no makeup. That's Madam C.J. Walker when she was a young woman. Does that look like a light skin? Look at the big nose. She got the big lips. She got the big old round face. And uh, that's her. Now I want to show you a picture of Madam C.J. Walker when she got, when she's older. Hold up. Because uh, a lot of people see these pictures and, and they don't know. I'm going to show you. Now, this is a picture of Madam C.J. Walker. No enhanced lighting, no 10 pounds of makeup. Do you see that woman? Do you see that woman? So I showed you a picture of Madam C.J. Walker when she was light, when she was younger, and when she's older. You see that complexion? Now let me show you a picture of Miss Malone when she was a young woman, around the same age as Miss C.J. Walker. Who's that? Who's that almost white looking woman? White styled hair, thin lips, in a business suit. She looks like her mama's white and her daddy's black, or her daddy's black and her mama's white. So, you tell me. Now, I'm going to show you a pack picture of Mrs. Malone when she's older. This is a unenhanced picture of Miss Malone. You notice the difference in the skin tone? You want another one? My parents weren't even close. It was cold and wet. Mrs. Malone. Way lighter skin you, you than uh, phone, Madam C.J. Walker. So there, you've seen a picture of both of these women when they were younger and older. So you, you see a picture that's posted on Rashida uh, Strober's page, which makes Madam C.J. Walker look like she's lighter than I am, when in fact she's not. So that one is for you, Miss Emancipation M. All right? If you research, you find the real stuff. I always tell a lot of people this. Don't just believe everything you see and hear off the back. You got to look it up. Madam C.J. Walker was not chocolate, chocolate black, but she was very dark. And Annie Malone was not. So those are the actual pictures without the enhancements, without the highlighting, because those pictures they use of Madam C.J. Walker with the light skin were used in advertisements. And people, other people did that. Other authors took those pictures and enhanced them. Just like a lot of girls today. They use those programs on their iPhones and they make themselves look lighter, and softer, and that's what they did with that picture that you see on Miss Rashida Strober's uh, posting. So everybody looks at that picture and they say, oh, wait a minute, Madam C.J. Walker is not dark at all. Yes, she was a very dark woman. She was a dark woman when she was younger. Even the facial features are different because Annie Malone, it seems like she was biracial. She had Thinner features, she had a thinner nose, thinner lips. She, I mean, she almost looked like a white woman in most of her pictures. So, uh, look it up.
Emancipation M, this one's for you. Because you talky, 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 and you don't know. And I hate people who talky, 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 and they don't know. Research. Eddie Burials from the Bronx.